So you wanna play, Rocket League and on your low and dim potato PC. But you're not able to, you are facing problems, and too much of lag. Don't fear when low end gaming is here. Hello guys, low end gaming here, today in this video I will show you how you can play Rocket League on your, 2GB RAM, Intel Core 2 Duo, and no graphics card PC without any lag and stutter. This was the gameplay of Rocket League, on a low end PC without doing anything. It is very lagging and not at all playable. And this is the gameplay of Rocket League on a low end PC, after doing all steps. You can see, the tremendous change in graphic quality and performance. This is the, difference between the results, of before and after. There is a huge difference. As you have seen the results, let's see the process, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and support me. Tell me in the comments, which game you wanna see next. Without wasting the time let's get started. First I will show you my system specifications so you can trust me. So as you can see, 2GB RAM, Intel Core 2 Duo, Windows 7 64-bit. And this is my iQOO of Intel G41 Express chipset, a VRAM of 64 MB. The first step, is changing the, in-game settings. So open the, after opening click on option. Then click on video. Change the render quality to high performance and change the render detail, to performance. Change the texture quality to high performance and world detail to performance. At the end, change the resolution to 1024 by 768, and click on apply. After the first step the game will run like this, it is better than before. Decrease in graphic quality and increase in performance. If you still face lag then follow the step 2. The second step is to changing the config file of Rocket League. There are two config files. Let's find and edit the first one. For the first config file, right click on the game icon, and click on open file file location. Then click on Rocket League. Click on TIA game. Then on config and done. Default system settings is the config file of the game, now let's, edit it. Make sure to run notepad as an administrator, and then open the file. After opening it, change motion blur to false. As you go down, you may see many texture groups. You must change all values of max LOD size and min LOD size to zero. You can do it manually, but it is very time consuming dot into my video description, and copy the text given. After copying go to the config file and select everything till texture group, right click and paste. Done save the file and then start the game. You will notice that, the in game settings are changed to default. Don't worry change them as in step 1. Then play the game. The graphics quality is decreased tremendously, if you still feel lag, then don't worry, we can still decrease the graphics quality. There's one more config file that, you can edit. For the, second config file you must click on start, then click on documents. Then go down and click on my games. In my games, click on Rocket League, then click on Tia game. Then click on config, that's it TIA system settings is the config file. Now open it, and follow me. Change the dynamic and static decals to false. Dynamic lights to false. Light environment shadows and composite dynamic lights to false. Then change directional light maps and distortion to false. Speed tree leaves and speed tree fronts to false. Then go down and change the screen percentage to 35%. Now save the file, and then open the game. Boom. Now Rocket League is running on the lowest settings possible. If you still face lag. Sorry, I cannot help you. That's guys, 
Now you can play Rocket League on a 2GB RAM, Intel Core 2 Duo, and no graphics card PC without any lag and stutter. If have queries then tell me in the comments below. If you watched the full video then comment below lag fixed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Now enjoy a short gameplay of Rocket League on a low end PC. See you all in the next video. Bye. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up